Unfair fighting matches, small versus big fighters. Sometimes fighting fair can be downright not fair. Big guys can always seem to have the advantage, but it's when you least expect it that the little guy turns the tables and goes in for the win that we all love to see happen. Hey there everyone and welcome back to Brutal TV, your stop for all things fighting shocking and downright funny. We are about to show you 10 fighting matches that seem totally unfair. The little guys versus the big guys. Number 1. Extra Armor This kickboxing match looks like it can go either way. You can see the little guy just powering through while delivering the body blows to his opponent. Those seem to do very little, but when the little guy decides to share some high kicks to the head, the big guy drops like a 200-meter tree. Number 2. Old Bones We all know that as we get older, we might not be able to perform some things like we used to. Our bodies just don't really allow for the elastic agility of youth. But that didn't stop this 68-year-old fighter. She wanted to step in the ring, and she did just that. She stepped in and, well, later got knocked right back out. We are thinking early retirement might not sound like a bad idea as of right now. Number 3. No Way From the looks of this fight, you would think that you know how it ends. You have the little fighter over in this corner and the much larger massive muscle-bound fighter in the other corner. You can already anticipate the possible comeback for the little lady. She gives her efforts to fight her opponent as best as she can, and it looks at times that she will make it. Still think you know how this match will turn out? Well, you're right. It turns out exactly how you would have expected it. I mean, look at this She-Hulk. She pummeled this little lady. Someone check the police records because she may have earned some assault charges after this one. Number 4. Shut Your Face There comes a time when being a bully fully pays off. And luckily for this guy that in this fight that we see here, the time is not now because he gets served up with some jabs that tire this big guy out. He looks like he holds his own for a little while, landing a punch here and there and then going in for the good old buddy I'm tired can I get a hug hold. It didn't last too long before the kickboxer was able to just have his way with that big blubbering fool. He even had to just give up and call it. Better think twice before picking on someone half your size. Number 5. Sleep When you are facing an opponent known for multiple knockouts, there is something you might want to consider asking yourself. Are you going to be one of those victims, or are you going to be the one to take down the master? Well, what's unfair about this fight is that it was just doomed from the start. Soon as the buzzer rings, Estrada is seen going full throttle with a 1-2-3 special, then repeats it with another and lays Atkins down with the perfectly executed 1-2 sleep special. Number 6. You Stand Here The world of sumo wrestling is known for the larger and heavier guys. You can really get a good feel of the art form and the skill that it takes to even be able to compete in such matches against professionals. And this little guy really believes that he can best this guy that is well over 300 pounds just from looking at him. And what happens? Exactly what you would have believed. The bigger sumo wrestler just picks up his opponent like he's a child and casually sits him outside the ring. 
You stand here. Number seven, in over his head. Okay, we just told you that the sumo wrestler carried his opponent around like he was a child. But when you watch this one, you can clearly see why we may have to just retract our last statement. Because this video surely shows you an unfair advantage when it comes to both weight and height. You see this giant in the ring and then his opponent. You know exactly how this will end. There are no ifs, ands, or buts. This guy was way in over his head, literally. He picks him up and has him helplessly dangling upside down. All we could think of is if the big jolly giant were to have power bond him, then he would have been out of service for good. Number eight, run. There's no doubt in our mind that the results of this fight were accurate. This guy is over 350 pounds of mass and he throws it around the ring like it's on a wrecking ball. What's a guy left to do? Run. He is left to run. But the running can only go on for so long before you must meet the decided fate that welcomes and waits patiently for you as you enter the ring. On this day, the little guy was flattened. Number 9. Karen's at it again. When Karen's attack, everyone looks forward to being able to set up an encounter like this. You know who the Karens are, don't you? The nagging lady who does the absolutely most annoying things and interrupts other people's activities, seemingly for no other reason that they are simply unhappy inside. Yeah, those Karens. This time, we see this soccer mom facing a professional MMA fighter, and she gets pummeled. In all of the glory, we can clearly see that this is a rather unfair fight, but it's one of the most entertaining ones to date. Number 10, lay down. Bob Sapp is no slouch. He has size, weight, and power to back this man's skill. Kiyoshi Tamura, the little guy if you couldn't tell the difference, just may have bitten off more than he could chew, again, like by a lot. Who accepts a match like this? It's almost like literally signing your own death wish. Do these fighters truly go into the ring thinking that the old David and Goliath will always be the happy ending for them? No matter what, Kiyoshi did give it a good run, but we all know that he should continue to just lay down for this one. Giants, sumo kid carrying and triumphing is all good and well until someone gets picked up and carried across the ring upside down. That's all we've got for today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.